Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So what I've got to do next is to make some slime balls. So let's have a look at some recipes for those. Slime balls. Well, a block of congealed slime, which we can't, I don't know how to get that yet, but uh, this one we can do. Should four sugars, one good cheese and some cactus cream, no big deal. I don't think we can get milk yet. Nope, there's no recipes for that. And a bucket of water would give us like four slime balls, that'd be good. And then this one. Polymethyl cry methacrylate. Nice one. And that is made from one slime ball, or how do we synthesize it? So we need three methyl macrite. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with, we've got one of these ready. We're going to make a slime ball through the crafting mechanism, like that. We don't have enough in that one, so let's go out here. It's not that expensive to actually use this to make slime balls, but I think the game way is really to do it in the mine can way. So here we have a recipe for that now. So let's go and decompose this because it's one for one. And then we get this one. So let's go and put this into the book now. It'll give us three of those. Yeah. So let's go and, go and decompose this. So we've got our three metal crate. Let's put this into the book here like that. So basically it's one metal which is CH3 two carbon and two oxygen. So, so that means that we need two carbon, three hydrogen, no, three carbon, three, two oxygen and three hydrogen. Which was the wrong button. So one, two, three, let's do a stack. Hydrogen is a bit low. Maybe that's why we're getting it in the, in there. So now I can remove this. We've got to run out of iron. Doesn't matter, I can leave it in here like that. So, this is the one we want to make is this CH3, first of all. So, C H3. Is that three stacks of hydrogen? One, two. Nope, let's get another stack if we've got one. We have, good. Three stacks of hydrogen. Well, let's shift that out there so we get a stack of this metal so the next recipe was this one here so that is two oxygen and two uh, sorry two carbon and two oxygen as well so one of those oh, wrong way sorry wrong thing machine one of those two two carbon and two oxygen have I got that wrong? Maybe, let's have a look at the recipe for this one. Or maybe even take the book out of here. Let's take the book out of here. I don't think I did the, the last one of these, but we are. Ah, it's three. Ah, that's, that's bad. Never mind, though. It's no big deal. I've got plenty, so we can take these out of here like this. That'll give us 22 from our stack, plus one, 23. So then, from these, we can basically then take the next one. We'll get enough slime balls. We only need, I think, eight slime balls, don't we? This one. Okay, so we've got seven. Oh, that's a shame. We just haven't quite got enough. Let's what have we what have we got in here that we need can use methyl. So we need another one. So we basically just actually only need one. Okay, yeah, I think we just need one. So just to get let's do this again anyway. Hydrogen's a bit low. But carbon we've got plenty of, so let's put this back in here. So that was oh we've only got forty-five hydrogen. Well no, we've got a stack of forty-five, so that's okay. 
that'll be enough. Three and then two. Was there any one carbon? Let's take that off. Yes, it was. Oops. What happened there? That was strange. I think something's weird. Let's just. Oh, of course, it's in the book. Yes, that's always bad to have the book in there. So let's try that again. One carbon and three hydrogen. Yeah, I've got to be careful with that actually. It also brings, creates another compound. This one, methane. More methylene. So the next one of these, let's get the book out. Pretty easy in the book. Is we've done this one. No, we need this one. Oh yes. I will actually put it in the right machine eventually. Right, we've got ten more of those. That should be enough to produce three of the others. Let's have a look. Oops. I don't I've just lost a whole load of those, doesn't it? Oh. Do you know? We've got four. So we've got our eight anyway, even after messing around too much. And I think that just goes from top left. Yes, it does. So we got our eight slime balls. Oh, maybe I lost one down there. That's fine. We have two. Let's put all of this stuff away. I've got eight more empty tubes, which was very careless of me. I think I can put some empty tubes in here. Nope. We're full up everywhere. Oh no, we've got some space on there. So now we've got our eight slime balls. Well, that was hard work. So let's now go and make some pistons. We've got seven pistons. Great. <laughs> One piston short. Would you believe it? Right, so redstone. We'll make um I'll make thirty-two iron ingots. Cobblestone, probably have to go downstairs for that. Yeah. Let's go downstairs for cobblestone and let's make sure we've got plenty of wood being made as well. I've got plenty of wood in here, look, so that's sixty-four. I'm just wondering if I've got enough space. I just about have enough space. We need four. Ooh, actually, we need two stacks of cobblestone. That should be enough, I think, for half of the, this. And the wood we can do on our own self-crafting, so that's no big deal. What's it going to? Right here. So 32 redstone, 32 iron. And what do we need for wood we need um 32 times one and a half stacks don't we oops okay never mind that's four stacks one and a half stacks let's get those going i think that'll do yeah perfect How about that so we've got plenty of pistons now so now we can make some slime balls let's do that next slime balls, I mean sticky pistons. So we've now got eight sticky pistons. Now we should be able to make the the um, inscriber. Oh, we might, might as well make three of these if we can. Good. Did I make... Oh. I made eight. I was good I didn't shift click that actually. I nearly did. Which would have given me too many. Right, gosh, this is a process. Let's go and turn turn this stuff now into something else. Let's put these inscribers down here. We're going to automate these just as soon as we can as well, because there's no point in automating these because we've got to make out of these. Does that work? Power? None. Okay, bad. Okay, let's pick these up. 
Now I can do this because I've got on me these glass cables. Oops, let's turn my magnet back on again. So we don't lose any. So if we now put these this camera presses up here like that. Oh, maybe it doesn't work with the wrong things in it. So let's put some plates in there. So we need some engineering presses. I need the silicon press and the engineering one. It must be this one here. Oh, wrong, wrong machine. Yeah, that's good. Actually, that's very good. Because from that we can make the engineering presses very easily. So let's get some diamonds. Um, wrong room. I think I know my way around my little base burner. Oh, right, those seeds are all done. Let's turn that off. So, got, yes, so nicely done. Good. So, we can put these crystals back into here. That's fantastic. So, now, what do we want? We want some diamonds. So, we need at least six of these. And we want some redstone. Try and type it in right. Six of these again. And we need some silicon. Now I'm not sure I've got any silicon in this book. I don't need these. No, we've got no silicon. Have we got sand? Yes, we've got plenty of sand. Take all the sand with us. And put this through the sack mill. Oh, I've got plenty of silicon already at the sagma, that's good. Let that do its business. So, right, now, with the silicon and the rest of it, we can actually make some engineering process. But before I do that, I'm going to pick up the speed upgrades. We've got quite a few speed upgrades here, 19. And we will use three in each machine, I think. Oh, yeah, three. For it to work fairly fast, let's do it like this. So then we can put in, say, for uh, let's put into what we've we got here the calculation press. We, this will be the silicon one, is it? No, that's the engineering press. We'll put the diamonds in there and the silicon in here. Oh, of course, I can only put one in at a time. Right, not such a problem. We'll I think we can do better with the other one. I was actually in my. I was thinking about playing this one through, but mm, that's a bit of a nuisance. Let's do it like this. Until we've actually got them all made. We just need. We just need basically three, of, three of each. No, six of each, don't we? Six of those. Right, good. Six and six. So let's go along here. Oh, that went into the wrong place. I'm surprised it even went in there at all. I didn't expect that to be a slot. So that one, redstone and silica, not silicon, silicon. And again. I miss the. Actually, it doesn't matter which order they go in either. Right, that's our six engineering uh, engineering presses that we need. Let's remove these all out of here like this. I'm not sure if this works. Oh, it does good, fantastic. Whether well, you could shift right click those to pick them up. Now, so we need the advanced one. So let's click on this and select the advanced inscriber. Hoppers. So we won't have enough hoppers, we've got one hopper. So we need another five hoppers, don't we? So five hoppers, let's get some chests. We've got four chests, five chests. So let's make the hopper recipe. Three. Because I haven't got enough ingots of iron, let's have a look for her. Would you believe it? Not really a shortage of iron here, but uh, let's make a stack of these. 
Oops, four stacks of iron, that's fine. Put all of this back into the system. It'll do, won't it? Now, I think we should have enough hoppers. Let's have a look. One. Ah, oh, yes, the others are here. Look. Um, what am I missing now? Oh, engineering presses. Do we not put those in the near deck? Okay. Right, so we've now got three. So we can then go and claim that quest. Let's have a look. Not improvements, elements, isn't it, here? So now we can detect, submit that, and claim our t another two advanced inscribers done. So then that would actually leave us with, what have we got to do here? Produce 128 calculation processes. Now that are basically pure, we need pure 30 quartz crystals, I think, for the calculation processor. Now 30 quartz comes from subsurface rock, doesn't it? So let's do that anyway. I probably should have done this in the first place. Subsurface rock. Maybe I think it's surface rock actually. Let's double check it. No, it's subsurface rock. Take one of those. Let's get that sieving. So we'll get 128 of those later on. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'll show you what we're going to do with these item routers. So I've basically got to find a place to put this stuff and I think coming back from here is a good is a good place to start. So let's put these down say here. And I don't know what it matters. I don't think they have sides. Like that. And into these let's put in these different presses. And you can lock it as well. Can so it's locked. Cannot be re removed with automation. Okay. So I think that's what we want to do. And the last one, of course, we don't want to have anything in it because that's going to get the redstone in it. So with the item routers, we can put those down like this. And like this. And we should be able to access in here the different machines. So here you've got a machine filter. So we wanted to select just the advanced item inscriber. So if I now put into this here, uh, go back to the input and put in 58 silicon, now they will actually go into the right place. That's so which one is it for silicon? Inscriber engineering, calculator, logic. So they should come in here and they have to look. Inscriber silicon. It's not working yet because it's got no power. So we'll, we'll just give it some power, I think. Um, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to have to break this cable because I want to get this cable so it doesn't get in the way. Let's have a look. We probably do not need this to go up like that. We can probably just take it down the side here and jump over it instead like that. So we can take these here now and we can connect all of these into this like this. We don't need to connect those across there, but this one we can bring across like that. So now these have all got power. And if I want to import stuff into here, I can basically put an import filter onto here like that. So now these all got power and this one, as you can see, is actually working producing inscriber printed presses. So we need 128. So we need 128 crystals. Uh, maybe I've got 128-ish or so. Let's have a look what we got for uh, um, set of quartz pure. I've got 42. No, nope, I've got 33. So let's have a look for seeds. 12. 12. Yeah, we only got 12. So I'm going to have to wait a bit before we can actually put those down. So let's 
You can also put, of course, here the speed up acceleration cards into that to make it go f to make the um, advanced ones go faster. For the time being, we'll leave it like this. Now, what else we can do while we're waiting for this? I hope is what we can make is um, let's take some gold with this. That does not do it. And we don't get a whole stack of that, that's good. And uh, let's take some diamonds. That's good too. And some silicon. Now we basically should have more silicon in the press over here. And basically got to make a load of tons and tons of these, so it's going to be a bit of a nuisance. So I think is what I've what from what I understand we're gonna make literally loads. So we've got another 64 here and 64 here, that'll do. Let's go downstairs here, let's put into this one here. It doesn't really matter what we put in, we can put the gold in it, it should disappear, the certis quartz should disappear, and silicon should also disappear. And you can see all of these are working away now. So this one's making printed calculation circuits. That one's got nothing in it. That one's making silicon, and there should be one for gold as well. Where's that gone to? If I got that wrong, it's gone somewhere. In here, don't think that's right. Which one's the gold one? This one. Oh, it should have gone. In. Ah, yes. I can also specify the slot. The moment it's specified to slot zero, I think what we actually specify is, is we change it to switch to slot mode, and we change that to slot one, and then that should go into the middle part of the um, items. We could actually even stick this. Let's just test it, and sure enough, we're getting engineering uh, press circuits at the moment. That's good. So we've got lots of these coming through. And we'll finish this off with some more silicons. That all disappear that time. That's interesting. Shouldn't have done. I suspect some's gone into here, hasn't it? Maybe I don't want this one at the end here, so sixty-two. But it's nice you can shift in a stack of these at a time with these advanced and inscribers. They're really good. Uh, I've, yes, I'm going to have to take that out as well, aren't I? But it seems to be no, it's my imagination. So we'll look at that quest by the way. I'm going to go back to these quests. We'll get a nice loot chest, hopefully. So we're not too far away from doing this. What have we got to do here? This one. A crystal growth chamber. Now let's have a look what we've got to do for a crystal growth chamber. It's not the same as a crystal growth accelerator. So we've got this one here, crystal growth. What's this one? A crystal growth chamber from A2 stuff. So that is basically six crystal growth accelerators. So what do we need for an accelerator? We need some ME glass for, uh, cable fluix. So we need well, we're going to, we've got plenty of pure crystals, but I don't think we've got much quartz fibre. So let's see. I think what we can do is crushed. Oh, we can crush stuff. I think the way we did it last time was to mine chemit. So aluminium phosphate. So that's fairly straightforward. Four of those. And the other one was... Let's go and do that. We've got just about enough time to do that. Phosphate is basically just decomposed glowstone. If we can decompose these actually. Oh we can good well she'll decompose the torches. Because I don't need them anymore, not with the um, RR pickaxe. And I don't think I'm ever going to need them because they didn't get disappeared in the previous one either. Or oh, we even get some celery uh celery. <laughs> Cellulose as well. <laughs> 
So it wasn't one for one, but it's actually better than a poke in the eye. So that's phosphate. Oxygen we've got plenty of. And then the last one is component aluminium. We should have plenty of that as well. Silver, actually not that much, 44. So I should have it in the book, let's have a look. Aluminium phosphate, this 30 quartz. Hyperphosphate, this one. Oh, therefore we need, then we need phosphate, is that nitrate we need before that one? Phosphate, oh this one. Let's put that into here, then we should start to get some phosphates. We'll need some more oxygen. Okay, so that's our phosphate, PO4. And then we need to basically change, so let's just push that back into here, of course. We've got some phosphate in there, yes we have. I don't know what to do with that. There's it's either that's either too slow or useless, one or the other. So now we've got I've got iron, which you don't really need with me either. So now we've got our phosphate. Let's go back to the book and get the aluminium phosphate out of here. That one. In fact, that should be just two items together, shouldn't it? So we get 44 of those because there'll be two in here. We'll go and get some more aluminium. We'll sort of that out as well. Nineteen. Let's take about ten. That'll give me sixteen hundred and sixty, which is more than enough. Hundred and twenty eight plus thirty two. So we got a stack and a quarter of those. Um let's put away have we got anything else in there? Aluminium phosphate, good. So now we can make the dust. It's got various recipes first. Let's look at the uses of this. And the here so we can synthesize decompose so we can make fluids dust which we're not going to do or we can actually make so it is quartz crystals fluids crystals the dust or even you can make quartz glass so this is what we're going to do that was just a t wasn't it like that well sh oh my other book of course i probably should have put that recipe in the book Yeah, it does what it's strange, it does one and it takes the rest of them out. Let's take the rest of those out of here. Four. Is that right? No, it can't be look. I've got forty eight in here. Oh, I was running out of power, you can see it going red. This is actually one where it is useful to do it this way. Twelve. That'll do for now, I think. We need some glass and I think we've got plenty of glass, so let's make some quartz fibres. So that, 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 that. Shift click it. Oh. Okay, that will make us plenty. Now we need to basically use some pure flakes. Get 48. That should be fine. Let's have a look. What do we need? We need six of these things. We need this fluid block. Okay, well, we can do it with either way. And it doesn't cost any more, whichever way. So we want six of these, don't we? One, two, three, four, five. All right, we've got five of those. Oh, we we'll probably should keep that. And then we need one of these. Six. Good. We could actually only maybe only need to make five. So look what we've got here. One, two. Oh, so I need to put this in here, don't I? Nope. What am I missing? 
Ah, quartz glass. Yes. I don't think we've got any more quartz glass. Let me just check. We need... We haven't got any quartz glass. So we need five per, and that'll give us... What is that? Four. That give me four. I just have to double check the recipe. Yes, it gets four. So we need um, two for each one. So we need basically six twos at 12. So we need... Divide that by three. That's four. So we need four, five, twenty. We need twenty more of these nether quartz. Actually, I don't know how to make them. Maybe we can synthesize the nether quartz one as well. Let's have a look at that. Well, we can grind. We can grind nether quartz, of course, which is fairly just a silicon and gallium arsenide. We could do that. But I think we'll do the hyperphosphate one anyway. Let's do that. I mean the aluminium phosphate. So let's have a look. Uh, glowstone. Let's take a stack of that. Should be this time. I won't try not to mess it up too much. I think it was three, wasn't No, I think that's okay. I will take some aluminium with them just in case. Aluminium. Nine. Put that away. In fact, eight will do. Well, I'm well past my time today. Oh, well, not quite, actually. Let's get this doing. And this one. So it's one stock of phosphate, and we want four oxygen. Let's take the book out of here. So if I'm rightly, that was phosphate's gone where? Here we are. One of those, and oops, it's going to make one, two, three, four. It's going to make glowstone. <laughs> Put the glowstone back again, huh? Indeed. Oh, actually, we've got eight already. That's not too bad. Let's decompose these two. Get those back again. That's some aluminium. A phosphate we can put up here, and then we oxygen. Oh, we still need some more oxygen. Thirty-one. What else have we got? There's another eight. Another two. Sixteen. Two. Eighteen. Oops. <sighs> I'm in the wrong machine again, and I just done that. That was really bad. Right. Okay, now we can do the aluminium phosphate. Good. Put the oxygen back in here. Aluminium phosphate, good. Let's put that one up here. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Don't laugh. Because <laughs> I am not laughing at that one, that was just awful. Let's take this out of here. 16, 12, 28. So now, 28. I could do with 32, couldn't I? Let's just tell you what we're going to do. Oops. Oops, I can't work that out either. Right. And of course, it's converted this back to close to Never mind. I don't believe what I'm doing badly today. I'm pretty really dreadful. Let's put that back in there and then take this one out of here. How much have we got? 36 of these. I thought, we'd, I, thought I wasn't... I didn't have enough, you know. Got another one of these as well, I think. Yep, that's probably already gone through, huh? Right, so now we can basically make the little. Oh, we need to make the glass, don't we? Let's have a look at uses of these. I 
think we can make the glass directly. Yes, we can. So we just need some silicon dioxide. Which we have plenty of. Let's get it in the right place. So basically, let's see if we get four of each. Four, yeah? Let's do it like this. Oh, I think that's the wrong place. Let me just double check this again, because this is... And no, that's four, and that's right, okay, so that's four. It was right. I'm just being overly cautious. And then one of each of these in the corners here, plus in the middle. Oh, I'm missing some of these. And there we go. So we need at least, I don't know how many we need of these. Let's have a look. I've put in, let's just take them all out. I think we need eight, don't we? We got nine, that's good. Ten. Okay, that'll do. So we should be able to make these advanced, uh, these crystal growth accelerators now. Five, six. That's thick. Then we should be able to make the. Where's it gone to? The crystal growth chamber. No, nope, we're missing two chests. Wood. Actually, that's easy enough. I can do that from here. And we're missing a, a hopper. So now we should be able to do this. Let's have a look. Quest detect. And we get 128 logic percent six. Crystal growth chamber. Has he not detected that? That's crystal growth chamber. Ah, it's completed. But I haven't been able to claim it. Or have I already claimed it? No. What happened there? Detect. Complete. Ah, it's a choice reward. I think engineering processes, because that's uh, uh, those are diamond and they're more expensive than gold, so that'll do. So that's basically all I've got time for in this particular episode, I think. Hold on, let me just double check that now. Because there's this quest as well, isn't there? That's calculation processes. I can't do that just yet. But between exercise and between episodes, I will prepare all of the uh, the bits I need for that. So, obviously, with this chamber I've got in my hand, I can grow crystals much faster. So, until next time, bye for now.